Let's take a look at what a layer mask can do for you. I have created two layers, one with a frame and one with what I call water. You can see these two different layers. There's the water and there's the frame. Now I'm going to put a hole in the frame so the water can fall out. My choices are I can either erase part of the frame, which means I can't undo it after I've closed Painter. I'm really stuck with everything that I do if I erase it. However, I can erase it using the magic of a layer mask. If I click on the layer, and now I click on the Create Layer Mask icon in the Layers palette, I get a thumbnail. This thumbnail is actually the layer mask. So I will click on the layer mask. You can see the black outline around that thumbnail. And now I'm ready to paint on the layer mask. Grabbing a brush, painting in black will hide everything. I will paint a hole in this frame. So you can see, if you take a look at the thumbnail, we have a little black spot. The thumbnail also appears in the channels palette. So I can open, you can take a look at it in the channels palette, and right there you can see the painted area. Okay. Now I'm going to go to the water, and using a distortal brush, I'm going to pull the water out so it's falling out of the frame. And I'm going to shade my water using Click Preserve Transparency. And I'm going to paint a little bit in white using an airbrush to give it a little bit of shading so it doesn't look quite so flat. Which will be black. Put a little depth in this one. It will look quite a bit better just for the sake of it. And now I want to dis want some of the water to fall from the top of this, so I'm going to hide it again using a layer mask. Clicking the layer mask icon, click on the thumbnail, turn off preserve tra transparency, and painting in black. We're going to remove some of that water. There. So there you have layer masks that are actually hiding things. You can take a look at what's on a layer mask by right clicking on the layer mask and say disable the layer mask. So now you have a red X through the layer mask, meaning that it's not being used. If you right click on that again, you can say enable layer mask. And the same is true for the frame. You can see the frame actually still exists. We will. Now, if you don't click right over the thumbnail, you'll get this other dialog box. So right click right over the thumbnail of the layer mask, and name the layer mask. Also notice that the layer mask is evident in the channels palette only when you are on that particular layer. Okay, if I'm on the water layer mask, you can see it comes up water layer mask. If I switch to the frame, it's on the frame layer mask. And that's layer masks in a nutshell.